Oh my gosh. Um, omelet. Those are eggs. You're not eating them, are you? You better not be eating your eggs. I see that look on your face. I think you were thinking about it. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. All right, let's uh, pull you away from them so you don't eat your children. Hopefully you haven't already. And let's incubate some hognose eggs. All right, I got Om Nomlet's eggs up there. And the reason why I was so worried about her eating the eggs is because, where did you go? There you are. Come here, I thought you could hide. I know the hog nose trick, just to look underneath the bin and then find their bellies. So the reason why I was worried is because one year, Om Nomlet, which is how she got her name, decided to lay her eggs and then immediately turn around and start eating them. Yes, you did that, I have proof. I have video proof of you doing that, Om Nom. You got an eggshell stuck in your teeth. That's the only reason why I caught you before you ate them all. But I do want to make sure she laid all the eggs. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't feel anything in her. I think she got them all out. And I actually don't feel, as she's running through my, or uh, on top of my fingers, I don't feel any eggs inside of her belly area. So I think we caught her in time to not eat her babies this year. All right. Don't mind the mess back there. I'm actually working on feeding and cleaning a bunch of our snakes and I just realized I don't even have the eggs with me. It's actually just me here tonight. So I'm alone in the building. Well, I guess I'm not alone. I have you guys here with me too. But let me grab those, those eggs. They're actually over here. I haven't even looked at these or counted them. So let's see. It's calling me. Okay, just dead. No big deal. He's homesick today. So that's why I'm here by myself after close. It's actually 10.30 at night. It's gonna be a late night, but that's okay. Anyway, we have omnomlet eggs. We have eggs that you didn't eat. I can't wait to count these. Oh my gosh. And there's so many too. There's more. Oh my gosh, there's so many under the moss here. Let me get you a better view of these. Look, look, omnomlet eggs. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how many there are, because look. Oh, there's so many eggs in here and they look good. I don't see any. They're, we're getting like no slugs that, well, shit, well, I'm not gonna finish that sentence actually. I don't wanna jinx it. How many do we have? Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 good eggs from On Omelette. Holy moly. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna put them here for now. We have this container, which, I don't know if this is gonna be big enough anymore, but we're gonna see. Let's see if we can fit these eggs in here. Ta-da, we have our perlite. Okay, let's see if I can fit all these eggs inside. <laughs> Kind of a fun fact that I've learned through breeding snakes over the years. You know how we have the clumps of bull snake eggs? Like they're all stuck together with an adhesive that mom creates? Hog noses are egg scatterers, I like to call them. None of their eggs or very few of their eggs are ever attached and they're not attached by much. So I imagine in the wild, they just lay a cluster of eggs and they're kind of scattered. They're not actually glued together. So that makes me wonder if it's not as important that they maintain their orientation in the wild throughout incubation. Uh, than compared to like bull snakes that make it very apparent that they want their eggs to stick together. I don't know for sure, of course, but it's just kind of a, an interesting thought. Well, I didn't even mean for it to line up so perfectly, but we have three rows of seven. So that would be our 21 eggs. Oh my gosh. What in the world am I gonna draw on top of these eggs? What should the theme be? Okay, our category is gonna be things in the sky. I don't quite know how I came up with it, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Things in the sky. Clouds, the sun. Oh no, my marker's wet. That's supposed to be an airplane. Rain comes from the sky. And you know what? We're just gonna speed through the rest because there's so many eggs in here. I'll, I'll explain them afterwards. are our things in the sky eggs. All right, I'll go through them with you really quick. We have rain, an airplane, the sun, a cloud. That's supposed to be a bird. It's not a butt, I promise. It's a bird. A hot air balloon, a cloud, a rocket, a tornado, 
lightning you see in the sky, a helicopter, the moon at night, you know, night sky, a star, a rainbow, a cloud, another cloud, a kite, a shooting star, a boat that leads to imagination land, we'll just go with that, then, then it counts. A blimp, which I haven't thought of blimps in forever. Are they even still a thing? I don't know. And finally, a UFO. Ta-da! Omnomelet's clutch has been laid. And these are not rat corn eggs. No, they are not. Not like the two years ago or last year. Instead, Omnomelet and bruh. Yeah, not brub, bruh. Laid on 512. Perfect. I think that's a 12. We're gonna go with that's a 12. Sure. Yeah, it looks like a 12. Okay, into the incubator. Is there any room? What if I move? Oh, shoot. We might not. Can I stack these? This isn't good, guys. Will it fit here? Please fit here. Please fit here. It's gonna be a late night for me. Please, please fit. Nope. Okay. Oh, what if this goes up here? Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Easy. Look at that. And they fit. I'd better get back from being sick soon so that we can turn that big guy on because we are in desperate need of the big Wheelbanks incubator. Oh, no, I'm lit. Boop, boop, boop. Hello. You awake? Hi. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you for not eating your babies. I appreciate it. And she was paired with Bruh, who is in this bin. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you just ate. Oh, my goodness. You're crazy tonight. Okay, well, goodbye, Bruh. There's Dad. Anyway, since both of those were condas, that means their babies will be normals and condas, just like the parents, and there will be a one in four chance for each of those babies to be a super conda like this beautiful girl. This is one of our holdbacks, actually. She is a daughter, a previous daughter from Omnomlet and Bra. And I think, yeah, she was the first super conda they ever produced, so we held her back. She's getting big. She was kind of a picky eater at first. Oh my goodness, you have the same personality as your mom, don't you? So yeah, you're a good girl though, you're so pretty. All right, Omnomlet eggs, success. This is actually gonna be a two-part video because Pixie, our rat snake, het scaleless, just laid her eggs too. Is she in the, I actually have not seen how many eggs are in here. We poked our head in yesterday and there were two eggs and okay. she had just started laying. <gasps> oh my gosh, take a look. Oh, she's laying eggs. Oh, she's current. She just started. Those first two look good, though. This is our rat snake, Het Scaleless. We're going to keep her in there, close this up, and give her some alone time. But we have rat snake eggs. So let's see what's in here now. Yeah. Oh, there's a little clump of eggs. Oh, that's a cute little clutch. And she looks exhausted. Hi. Hi, cutie. Did you get all your eggs out? Can I take a peek at you first? I don't feel anything. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't feel anything in there. Awesome. All right, I'm just gonna- Wow, leave. never mind. there's a lot more wow, in there than I yeah. thought. They were hidden underneath the moss. Wow, they all look good too. Nice. All right, Test. cracking open a new bag of perlite with this one. What is this two for the year or three? I think this is our third bag this year so far. Okay. Ah. And she couldn't get it open. I can't open anything, I swear. I need scissors everywhere I go because of opening anything. You usually have your tool belt on, so. I do, today's our day off, so I don't have it on me yeah, today. Our day off, but we're here. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay, it's egg season. Yeah. It's fun work, it doesn't yeah. help then. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, we've got our perlite. All right, I haven't counted these eggs either. There's just more than two, so <laughs> she laid a lot more than I saw yesterday. I'm just gonna put them in. We've got one, two, two three, four. four. We should become like on PBS, teach people how to count. Yeah, we're using eggs. Yeah. That'd be cool. Six. Now we're counting by twos. We could teach even numbers to kids. 13. <laughs> yeah, that explains your grades throughout uh, elementary school. And high school. And high school. <laughs> what would you say your grade point average was? In high school? Yeah. Uh, is it off of a three or a four point? Four point oh is straight A's. So I was a 4.0. What's a one? Is that F's? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I never even got close to that. I'm guessing I was a three, like a 2.9 or a three uh, or something. Okay. Yeah, Maybe right. a 3.5. I don't know. That sounds about right. I never looked because I was always embarrassed. Your parents to look. just yelled at you. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> so as you can see, I am separating these eggs, or at least some of them. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it does appear as though incubating an entire clutch that just has too many layers of eggs is detrimental to the egg's health. Because Brad's eggs, that big pile of 30, about half of them have gone bad, actually. Yeah. yeah, so it could be partially due to the fact that they were all little eggs, so maybe they weren't good anyway. But I think it looks like the top ones are the ones that are drying out and going bad. Mm -hmm. So I think there's just actually no benefit to incubating an entire clump together unless you absolutely can't peel them apart okay. and you have no other option. Makes sense. So I am going to start peeling them as we go now. And uh, a two, unless they're two or yeah, three or a single layer. Single layer is fine because then they still make enough contact with the perlite that they won't dehydrate. Our theme for this clutch is going to be, what, what do we categorize this as? Like technology logos. Perfect, that'll work. Technology logos. For example, awesome Android versus <laughs> icky Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Apple has its place. I don't use much of it, but it has its place, I guess. I guess, this'll be, okay, so whichever one of these eggs actually hatches will determine which is better. Android or Apple. What if they both hatch? Then whichever one is scaleless is the winner. <laughs> what if they're both scaleless? Then... Then we're at the same point we are in the world. Then Apple it's still... Android are the same. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, that's the only way you can be a tie. Alright, let's fill up the rest of these eggs with some technology logos. I missed the Unisys drawing because I was maybe looking up logos, <laughs> but uh, you know, there we go. We got Android and Apple and Logitech and Razer. That one better hatch because it's snakes. <clears throat> like their <laughs> logo is snakes. Anyway. Is that LG? Yep, that's okay. LG. And HP, of course. Yep, Real Link, Real our Link. camera. Yep. Yep. Uh, obviously. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> what that one is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one's Microsoft. Yes. <laughs> Alienware, uh, Unisys. And then, what was that one again? Adobe. Adobe. I use right. that every day for yep. video stuff. And then we got our headphone corner. Yeah, nice. What was this one called? That's uh, uh, Real, or Steel Series. Steel Series, okay. Yep. Steel Series, HyperX, and then Bose. Ta da! Nice. I think those turned out all right. Yeah. Sweet. There's our electric technology. Yeah, technology clutch. All right, so we're going to cover up this old text. Wow. What was it? Uh, something with Mr. Wilson, so at least oh. a couple of years ago. This year, it's Pixie and Buck laid on 516. Pixie's one of the trailer park girls, right? She is, yeah. We have the yeah. three trailer park girls, Darla, Pixie, and I can't remember the third's name off the top of my head. And they all are in love with Buck. Yep. I have sad news, guys. The Jesus bull snake eggs went bad. Oh, I kind of figured they would. Yeah, were, they looked so good, yeah. too, but they one by one went bad. Yeah. So we're not going to have a miracle this not year. Not having a miracle clutch. Nope. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's been gone the last week. I've been yeah. trying to die over the last week, so I haven't seen this. I can put that down here, maybe. This is our last clutch before we have to turn on the other incubator. Well, I mean, we also have the Pepsi fridge up front. There we go. Fits like a glove. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, soon we're going to have to either turn on that one or the Pepsi fridge or both. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think we should probably turn on the Pepsi fridge once these are a little closer. Okay. And then we'll start seeing, like, the pipping up there. Oh, so customers can see yeah. the pipping happening in store. Okay, what are we going to use this for then? Over, like, I'm sure we still have more eggs on the way, don't we? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, then that's what we'll use that one for. Okay, sounds good. Here is the proud dad, oh, Buck. Hey, Buck. Buck, short for Buck Naked. That is actually his full name because he is scaleless, kind of. Yeah, he's. He should be like half naked. Yeah. He should have been half. But, yeah, half, know. half naked. Well, he's one of the first scaleless rat snakes out there. Like, he's from one of the first generations anyway. Oh, yeah. So he is actually getting quite old. He is probably about 12 years old now. Because wow. we got him as a slightly older adult. That's he might true. be 12, 14, actually, something like that. But he's still siring good, healthy looking eggs, which yeah. is awesome. So we have him paired, like I said, with three females. And we are expecting eggs from the other two. I think last year, or they have recently been slugging out on us. So I don't know. They might be ready for retirement, but we're going to give them some time. And yeah. Oh, 
are you gonna climb the vines? What do you think? Since he's scaleless and all three of the trailer park girls are het scaleless, 50% of the babies of those 14 eggs should also theoretically be scaleless too. Wow! He is uh, Look at you definitely go. reaching. Oh my gosh, you are- He's like, I'm almost there. Oh, Aww. changed his mind. Hi, you're such a good boy. Thank you guys for watching. There he goes again. Yep, going but up. He I wants hope to rip it down. Sure does. I hope you enjoyed this two clutch special today. Don't actually climb on the vines. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support, and stay tuned for even more rat snakes in the very near future.